Dear student, uh, it's my pleasure to present you another class of social work. And today's class is social problems, causes, and consequences. This is part one. As you can see in the in the cover page, a girl is picking some remains from dustbin. Uh, this is the severe situation of social problems. It indicates the girl is deprived of her education, her livelihood, her good living, etc. So, in this lecture, we'll try to describe what is social pro problem and put some examples so that we can clearly distinguish between social problem and other pro other problem. At the same time, we can characterize social problem uh, very uh, concretely. So let's begin the class. What is social problem? Uh, in my class, when it is natural class, I am present in person and students are present in person. In that classes, I raise some question about what is social problem. And against the, that question, students give some responses that load shedding is a problem, crime is a problem, unemployment is a problem, divorce is a problem, economic crisis is a problem, accident is a problem, and there are lots of problems in our society. As you can see in this slide, there are lots of problems, crime, overpopulations, economic crisis, coronavirus, poverty, drug addiction, load shedding, cyclone, malnutrition, unemployment, suicide, rumor, okay, good job, militancy, jungibad, superstition, kushanskar, illiteracy, oshikha, shikha rabhab, divorce, child labor, etc. There are lots of problems, but is all problem social problem? Okay. To give this answer, let's see what is social problem. In generally, we know social problem is a problem in society. As I, I, I wrote here, social problem is a condition that does disrupt or damage a society. What you understand? Nothing. I also nothing. Because it did not mention, the, it does not mention social problem clearly. So when we'll talk about social problem, we should give clear definition of that. Look at this definition. What is said? It said social problem is a negative condition or behavior. It can be a condition like unemployment condition or behavior like taking drug. You understand? It can be a condition like unemployment, like poverty, or it can be a behavior like violent behavior, crime, okay? Uh, juvenile delinquency, etc. It arises from society. It arises, it, uh, uh, it, uh, it emerges from society. This is very important uh, to understand. At the same time, it, how it arises from, from society, for example, malnutrition. It is not a factory production thing. Malnutrition arises from society. Maybe a mother is not conscious, aware of the nutrition thing, the uh, income and livelihood standard of the family is not up to mark. That is why in results, living in a family, in a society, in surrounded by poverty, by illiteracy, maybe our children become malnourished okay so it is from society it affects a large number of people this is vital if any problem any condition that arises from society affect very little people uh, person of people is not a, a social problem to be a social problem it needs to affect a large number of people at the same time the last condition that is, there should have a need inside the society to address the problem. If the society tolerate the problem, 
and is okay with that problem do not take any initiative to solve the problem or do not think it is a problem then it's not a social problem for example if teaching you know before 20 years or uh, in 80s i do not know i, I experienced 90s uh, and at, at that time uh, you notice that if teasing was not so serious there was serious incidents of if teasing but always blame goes to the school going girls always blame goes to the women uh, about their dresses about their presence on a street but society changes they consider it is a problem and they started addressing it now if teasing is a serious social problem and no one in the society accept this this is the social problem so uh, what is the characteristics of social problem it is social problem is a negative conditional behavior it arises from society it affects a large number of people and there is a need in society to address the condition of behavior i just broke down the definition so if this if this i mean if this four condition is available to any problem that is a social problem now we will try to uh, find out this four pro problem crime definitely crime is a negative be behavior condition it arises from society i mean it happens due to social people's introduction maybe someone is poor and they cannot man, uh, get a good employment opportunity that's why there is a crime or maybe uh, say for example street children who 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 do not have any values who does not who didn't grow up in a family as a result they do not have good civic sense they they commit lots of crime okay so crime it it arises from society and it affects a large number of people and in a society there is a consensus agreement that it should be go down it should not exist so it's a social problem overpopulation overpopulation now everyone is aware about this matter it's a negative thing it arises from society because some society have a trend to have more population bangladesh is one of them and it's highly populated country and people now want to get rid of it they want to have honor to children family and so um, so it's a problem at the same time economic crisis the first thing economic crisis is a negative thing definitely but it does not arises from society economic crisis arises because of economic policy because of some other external internal factors so it is not social problem think about coronavirus coronavirus is not a social problem is a viral uh, virological it's a medical thing but the some issues as related with social like uh, using hand wash, using uh, maintaining social distancing, etc. Poverty. Poverty is a definitely no doubt. Poverty is a social problem. Drug addiction is a social problem, as you notice. Load shedding. It's a what is? Is it social problem? No, it it can't be. What is load shedding? Load shedding is a negative thing, definitely, but it does not arise from society because of our illiteracy because of um, because of anything of society low shedding does not happen low shedding happen because there is poor supply of electricity okay so if there is uh, uh, there is i mean if there is uh, strong economic measures if country have enough economic situation financial support to produce more electricity then there will have no electricity even we can export electricity to the neighboring country so load shedding does not arise in 
arises from society so it's not a social problem cyclone cyclone or any other natural disaster like earthquake like flood like uh, uh, i mean tornado everything nothing of this is social problem it's natural phenomena but there is some social issues related with this like being aware of signal having awareness to go cyclone center when there is warning for cyclone okay these are the social but cyclone itself is not a social problem malnutrition definitely definitely is a social problem unemployment is a social problem because it arises from society maybe uh, there is illiteracy maybe there is uh, 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 maybe there is some other condition that's why the lack of skills the suicide you know it's an uh, definitely a social problem uh, a psychosocial problem we tell rumor good job you know but in uh, currently the government is very strict to uh, to limit the rumor to 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 so that rumor cannot be spread uh, due to rumor lots of negative thing happens it's just a social phenomena militancy once it was very vital social problem in in in, in bangladesh and lots of youth was involved but now nowadays because of huge action of police and a huge awareness inside the society militancy is 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 almost bangladesh is overcoming from that social problem superstition mother of all social problems malnutrition because of superstition does not know mother does not know what's to provide their food maybe foods are available they do not know how to cook it how to preserve a food how to feed what what food does contain the nutrition this very information mother should know first for example overpopulation is also related to superstition um, crime uh, you know poverty drug every social problem has its roots to superstition illiteracy another mother um, of 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 social problem divorce sometimes is a social problem still in bangladesh divorce is social problem because it's a negative thing in the context that due to divorce uh, a family is broken the woman most of the time if the woman is not employed become vulnerable and dependent to and 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 and, and he is in no man's land not his husband's house not in the father house and not only she alone she is in no man's land with with her kids and it's create further problem like it creates you know crime it creates uh, uh, unemployment it creates malnutrition etc child labor child labor is a very uh, social problem because it arises from society it's a negative thing and uh, society people agreed that is uh, that 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 it should uh, 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 there should not have child labor etc so this is the end of the lecture so what I wanted to demonstrate that is what is social work, what are the characteristics and I, I, I gave a lot of definitions of the problems. Some of them are not social problem. So why they are not social problem, why these are the social problem, I describe this, it will help you understand. So another point, my dear students, uh, I develop a test for you uh, using Kahoot platform. Uh, the link of the test is given in a comment so that with the test uh, after listening the lecture if you go to the test this is just four question mcq question if you answer those four questions um, uh, that indicates how uh, much you have learned and you uh, from this lecture so i think everyone will go to that link uh, and uh, answer uh, those question to test yourself okay and if you find any problem uh, please let me know so that i can address it later if you have any interesting topic you want to learn ne uh, next class please put it in your comment so thank you very much for your uh, for watching this lecture and participating